Now I'm going to show you how to sharpen the pencil. Sharpening the pencil is probably the most important skill because the technique that we're going to be exploring involves a lot of very, very fine lines called hatches or in, uh, uh, in other terms, graining, right? So it involves a very sharp pencil and I'm gonna teach you how to do that. Uh, you're going to take uh, a charcoal pencil, okay? And now, uh, this pencil, not all charcoal pencils are, uh, are, are the same. This one in particular is from Generals. Um, and this is, I find that this is the best charcoal pencil in the market right now. It's very consistent and they're readily available. They're inexpensive, so um, I highly recommend these. Um, so, okay, so I'm gonna take my razor blade and my charcoal pencil, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna lay my little piece of leather here, not to get my table dirty, and I'm just gonna hold the charcoal in one hand, the razor blade in the other, and I'm just going to rotate my pencil, and I wanna keep a very shallow angle, right? I don't want to go too. I don't want to go too deep with my the angle because it will not cut thoroughly. So I just rotate the pencil, the wood all around the charcoal. I'm exposing the charcoal. And I want to I want to make this point about an inch. You could use you could use your finger to measure about an inch long. Okay. I'm rotating, rotating, rotating. Now you gotta be careful that not to go too deep because you could break some pencils, some of these pencils, uh, they break during shipment. So they, uh, you could end up with just a broken point uh, and then it, they become obviously uh, harder to use because if they're broken all along the edges or all along the pencil, the length of the pencil, you can end up with just a very short pencil and that's why you'll need the, eventually you'll need the ch uh, pencil holder, okay, or the chalk holder. You'll need that length to help you draw and do the technique that we're going to learn. So there we go, I'm sharpening the pencil. So now I've exposed the point, the charcoal in the center of the pencil, and I'm ready to refine the point. Now I have the pencil right here, and I have a point that's about uh, shy of an inch, and I'm gonna use a nice piece of sandpaper. You could use a rough piece of sandpaper I have one, I have uh, sandpaper for my charcoal pencil and I have sandpaper for my uh, white chalk pencil. You're gonna sh sharpen the white chalk pencil exactly the same. But you have to be careful with the white chalk because it's actually much uh, softer, so it breaks a lot easier. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the pencil, I'm gonna put it on a flat. You could also mount this on a piece of wood or cardboard, okay, to get a very flat surface. And I'm just, I'm gonna, put the pencil very flat against the surface and rotate it, okay? I'm rotating on the pencil. And I'm slightly lifting to do it on the edge of the table. So it give you a very fine point. and I'm rotating very quickly. Switch over to the other side.
if you use a rough piece of sandpaper at first, it will work better. Okay. There are fine papers as you're working, you want to keep the point, and that will work best. You wipe the excess, and that's what I have so far, but I want to keep going, okay? Rotating, 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 rotating. Okay. This is important because you don't want to be doing this every half an hour um, while you're working. You want to just refine your point and that's it. You don't want to be sharpening your pencil over and over again. That's gets tedious. You could also opt to have many sharpened pencils. Like I have at least two or three. I have three here. Um, and that's what your point eventually will have to look like, okay? Very a long taper point that is long, okay? And It's, it's, uh, it has a perfect length to, and perfect point to uh, be able to do the technique that we're going to learn, okay, which is called graining. But you could also use it for hatching. And this pencil, it's wonderful because you could use the side, you could use the side of the pencil, okay, or the point, okay. And there you can see the line quality changes as you turn the pencil. But you can also use very, very fine lines.